Hey, I'm Starkey from Driftworks, and we're back for an Aston Martin LT4 V8 update. Uh, only a small update this time, as you are still waiting for your half shafts. Half shafts? Full Dri shafts? Uh, drive shafts? Drive yeah. shafts? Yeah, shafts. Thing. So we're still waiting for those for a very small update, but actually quite an exciting update, I think. That's back from the paint shop. Yep, bumpers back from Gaz. TJR, as yeah. you're there. The guy doing the Lamborghini, so check and out the Lamborghini video. And all of the other projects, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, at Perfections, or Speedwells, can't which one he is nowadays. <laughs> um, lab with the 280Z we've been doing, has pine coated that for me in satin black, so it was like a weird grey well, colour. Yeah, it was a weird grey. It was, yeah, I, don't, I can't quite work out what it was, but I couldn't decide whether to do it glass or black or body colour, so I thought, I'll just do it in satin powder coat for now and then maybe I'll, I'll change it. I don't it looks know. looks so clean though, doesn't it? I mean, like the whole. They're such good front ends, aren't they? Yeah, because it's got. I didn't realise when I bought it, it's got like a six rib grill in, which is like one off a different model upgrade, which is actually nice and I didn't actually even realise, but, but it's a nice touch, you know. Um, and actually, you can't see your charge coolers or anything like that, can you? Well, yeah, you can see it there, really. But I mean, it's not it's like. Black. No, yeah, it's black yeah, now, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nice. Um, one of my friends or customers, a lad called Fizz, um, runs, I can't remember the name, he's um, a company now. Um, anyway, he's, he's bought, he runs a company. He buys and sells quite a lot of um, Astons and Porsche that, and he come down and he said, oh, I've got some up here, and he's given me some oh. carbon side vents. Schnazzy. Very nice. I was going to paint the original ones, he said, no, no, no. What were the original they're, ones? They're um, chrome. Oh, chrome. Which oh. is a bit, mm, no. Um, and I made some carbon infill panels to go behind them with like a, a vent side on them. Mm. Um, that's to, because he used to use sit behind there. I didn't yeah. want, you know, when you wash it, you didn't want to get blasted with water or anything. Can I put a request in? Yeah. Can we show him the bulb? To what? Can you get like silver indicator bulbs that flash orange? It looks like an egg. You don't want what it looking like an egg. Well, it's, there's an orange bulb in there. Yeah, yeah, get rid of the orange bulb. Why? So it doesn't look like an egg. The internet will agree with me. You drive a yellow car with purple wheel nuts. So? Your mum likes it. Mm. <laughs> and... Ta-da! Big brakes. What are those? They are 400mm carbon ceramic brakes. Carbon ceramic? Carbon ceramic. And you cannot imagine how light these are. It, it just... Even if you put on scales, it doesn't... The, the, the Did you put it on scales? No. <laughs> I, I will do. <laughs> we'll bring one man and weigh them. But the, yeah. I've I had some three ninety mil steel one to go on it. The difference in weight is unbelievable. Like it's comedy difference. Have you ever used carbon ceramic bricks before? Um, I've driven cars with them on, um, and they seemed absolutely normal. I mean, I've got to admit that one of the reasons I really, really wanted these is to keep the wheels clean. Yeah. I know that's bizarre and people won't get that, but I hate cleaning wheels. I hate cleaning cars. I hate cleaning cars. Please. So. Um, Cole painted the calipers for me. So orange discs, which is the theme of your car because you yeah. do like you had these on your LT BM yeah. um, and rears as well. Um, so they're done. So what are these? Um, they're um, three sixty mil carbon ceramic rears. And so the, what's the calipers off? The, because that wasn't the same caliper that was. No, on the the original calipers. Um, these are a lot bit further out to compensate for the bigger brakes. Mm. I think the V twelve S. Um, not actually really sure. To be honest, I'm oh, not. That's not a, is that a sticker or is it? It's a sticker that's lacquered over. Okay. Um, I'm not actually up that much on models and all the bits and bobs, but I think the V12S You need breaks. to do that with the Aston ownership. You need well, to know all the facts. I'm not really that bothered. You know, it is what it is. Um, the handbrake calipers, I've got to sort out, clean and put oh, back the on. Oh, the twin caliper? The, calip the little manual caliper. Are you going to paint that? Side. No, I'm just going to leave that black, I think. I think I'll leave that black. Why? Wow. Well, just bothered. No, just one's enough. Draw calipers. Um, so yeah, um, most of it is back together. Really, we're still waiting for the the, the drive shafts. Yeah. Hopefully, this week. Hope well. Hopefully tomorrow. I know they've had some guys off sick with the, yeah, the virus, yeah. but oh you know. well. Good luck, everyone out there. Um, um, suspension we haven't actually spoke about. We did do a little bit. Basically, I've converted. This is the original shock absorber. Yeah. And we took the original cup off because it's held on like a snap ring. Yeah. And made these um, coilover conversion for it. So that 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 this obviously makes it ride height adjustable. Oh, okay. Um, and also I can change the spring weight to because these are quite work. soft, aren't they? 
Um, very, very heavily damped, very soft springs, like three and a half K springs, yeah, which is ridiculous. Um, we did look up off the shelf aftermarket well, uh, because we sell KW. Yeah, I looked so. at the KW kit, but they're just, they're, you know, it's just money. You know, yeah. it's simple as that. I mean, I would put them on if they were available, but money's too tight. So um, I've picked the same spring rate as KW. Yep. Um, I mean, it drove nice. I mean, it, it was quite hard, like firm before, but that's fine. It, it's, it, you know, it will be a daily, but I can I can live with that. Yeah. It's no problem. You don't drive far enough for it to be an no, issue. No, and on the open road when you get moving, it's actually yeah. quite nice. So will it get off fun. your mountain of a drive? Hopefully, yeah, mm, yeah. Good. Because Craig lives on the hilliest outcrop in Birmingham, don't you? No, not really. It's just a drain out of a bit dip outside my house. <laughs> um, so next um, thing is the thing that I'm most excited for: special order from Japan. Almost where, where do we get price. these from, Rich? These are also from Reflex.com. Now, wheels probably make or break a car build. They do. I mean, I oh, how many times I come around and sit and look at them? We just <coughs> try. Probably the worst thing having us next door. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a wheel I put on the BM, which I really like. It's quite traditional. Now these are a linear course LC eight one eight. So the backs yeah, are yeah. the fronts are. Yeah, well. They're, they're actually slightly odd, different front to back, nobody ever noticed. No. Um, but these are quite traditional type Aston wheels. They yep. do like versions of this on, again, some of the higher models, which I don't know what they are. And they, they look very similar. Yeah. So, I mean, these are, uh, they're forged, they're all machined, and then they're like um, lacquered over with, I don't know if it's painted lacquered, but I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but no, the no, you, can, you can see the lines. The detail is fantastic. Ooh. And unbelievably light. Yeah, because these I are mean, forged one-piece wheels. You know, they are a proper forged wheel, and we, did, oops, we oh. didn't know if they were going to fit. And as you can see, Let quite close. Oh, it's really good. They look fantastic. They do. I'm very, very happy. They're really good. We looked at a, f a few different options. Mm. So we looked at the Emotion range, the T7R2 piece. And, yeah. And um, we were looking at like bronze on bronze or silver. Yeah. But actually, it's such a, clim a classic, simple design, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, and it, it's, it's... Jesus it's, Christ, Craig, you want a set? Uh, you know, and it just, it just works. I mean, I've yeah. got some here built up with... Um, is that a rear or a front? That's the front with some Michelin pilots on. Can you put the rear on for me? Uh, I can. So the rear... Because I haven't seen these with the calipers on, on the back. Uh, Heep! Yes. I haven't seen one of the calipers on to be fair. Ow! <laughs> As you can see, they just clear, but... It's really good. Yeah. So is, is this the final wheel um, tire choice? Yeah, I mean, I ordered some part ones just to put on, just to get an idea of size. Yeah. I'm glad I did because they, they look terrible. <laughs> um, I chose 305 30 19, so I stuck with 19. Yeah. Just, I think 20s would probably. We did consider 20. We did, did 19, 20 stagger or 20 all around. I know bigger wheels compromise the, the ride, so yeah. we, we try to avoid that. And I mean, we're close on the front caliper. But that was I mean, the issue, we were going to go 20s yeah. just to clear the, the calipers. So, um, I tried the 30, which is what I ran on the BM, but it, it just looked weird. It looked, looked wrong. Well, the sidewall was just yeah, too just Yeah, it was, it was too, it, it just looked odd. Um, and I particularly wanted to run the 265 front, hmm. um, which is that one. Um, because the, the problem is with rows now that you know the potholes and the you know you know I wanted a, a slightly higher sidewall to, to comp you know to compensate for that um, and I think it will look I haven't actually had it down on its wheels yet so much joy shafts and that but I can get down to wheels and actually want to get the arch gap really nice yeah. and but the low profile it just didn't look so right so on what it. So what is this in the end go again? You got to say? What size tyre? Uh, 295 And is do you want to go for a pilot sport? That is pilot sport. No, is that what? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the you know um, I ran Kumo PS ninety ones on the BM, and, and like really really impressed with them. They're absolutely brilliant, like really good. Um, but I found a set of pilot sports at the right money, and I thought, wow, you know, they probably they're expensive when you start getting. Yeah, they are, and they probably are one of the best tyres out there. Um, 
I would have bought the Kumos again because I, I really like them, but there's, that particular size is awkward to get. No, oh, okay. Um, so, but it's worked out right. It fits the rim nice. It, it's the correct size. It's not stretch, you know. It, and hopefully there'll be a bit of sidewall strength. And them being forged, they should be strong. And the light. I mean, between the light wheel and the carbon brakes, it should be a, a big chunk of um, yeah. spun yeah. weight. Yeah, which is which is actually quite important when you start. Yeah, sorry, unspun weight. Yeah. Unspun. Yeah, <coughs> um, but it, it, you know, it, it's it's. Oh, really? Ought to weigh the disc in a normal wheel. Uh, well, I've sold original yeah. wheels, but it, it's a massive difference. Yeah. It really is. So, um, what else was? So the exhaust. So in the last episode, ah, yeah. you were. Uh, did you buy or were you given a back no, box? No, the the lad that gave me the um, uh, side vents also gave me a back box. So, <coughs> this is standard back box on, you have built in noise valves as, as standard, it's a factory thing. So we have control of that through the ECU, so yeah. I can open that and shut that um, against throttle angle or RPM or boost or whatever I really want. So we get, um, on, on open, it comes in through this long tube here basically through a little tiny bit of baffle tube there into this chamber's filled what's a baffle tube oh just a just a uh, yeah perfect tube yeah. um and then open that valve straight out the tip mm. when it's closed it comes in here and then comes out of this pipe into this chamber here then through this pipe out through there but that's only a two inch pipe yeah okay so that's like that bit and there's one in there my concern is this pipe isn't big enough. Um, I've made such an effort to get the the twin three inches through the car. Yep. And now I don't know. Um, what is a, your mind telling you? Well, there's a box that I'm going. Obviously, I've got one in the car, so I can do it. I'll either change this and make this one big proper um, uh, back box sock yeah. packable. I can make it repackable. Um, or, but the reason I like this is because it fits and it all mounts properly and, and it and it works really nice. Or just make me own. Yeah. I'm not actually made a decision yet. The because this is chambered. I mean, I can. I've got a lot of exhaust apart and done lots of things. So I, I sort of I have an idea of how it works. But it's a lot of work to make this. If you made your own, would be able to get the valves working. Yeah, in theory. But this isn't a full dump. If if you when you dump them, it doesn't just like go full open. It does go through no, okay. a tiny chamber, but albeit very very small. And it's almost it's too loud and open and too quiet and quiet is is the problem I've got now. So on when the valve's shut, it's going through too small a tube work. No, okay. In open, it just sounds it sounds chavvy. You know, it's, it's just sound like a it's, it's got too much of a rasp to it. Mm. And when I bought the car, we got the fuse pulled for the valves, and it sounded horrendous. I hated it. Um, it's okay at idle, but like when you drive around, like you know, two, three, four thousand revs, it just got this horrible drug in it. I hated it. Yeah. And that's what I don't want. I want it to be, you know, okay. I can map it and have it on the switch or do whatever I want with it. But the noise open still needs to be right. Yeah. You know, like when when this was on. I mean, this was good. So you got the Kropovich on it, so they are, you know, the best you can buy. Yeah. And it sounded fantastic, but I need to get back to that sort of sound, really. So I think I'm either going to make this one big um, repackable proper back box, yeah. or um, we normally use Jetex boxes, which I found the best over the years by a long way. I'm impressed way. with my one of the Volvo. They're really good. I mean, we've used them; they, they really last. And we've tried some of the boxes, and you know, within is that what's on the Corolla and everything else? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, within a month, there's nothing left in them, and they they last really, really well. So, um, but then I've got to get two big boxes in, and if I can do it in here, I think it makes sense to do it in here. But I've got to change this. That's two and a half inch. I need to go because it's three inch two here, yeah. so I need to go from there. Which I can do. It's just, well, it's just you're the time. man who could. Well, <clears throat> now I mean the rest of it's pretty much getting there. Well, this isn't bolted in yet, but that that's basically it's finished. All the um, uh, strut stru braces are back on. Pipe work's all done. Vent pipes all done. I've got to get the aircon. Um, vacuum tested and uh, gassed to make sure that works because we've altered 
we'll put the inch chiller into the system. I need to make sure that that's okay. So, Carl from Emerald, we've done hopefully all the um, the canvas and the, the the wiring. So, I mean, as far as I know, everything works. Cool. So exciting times. Yeah, need to map it. I need to ah, oh, we bled the clutch as well. So put the calipers on, which is it's one of the things we fitted. And I didn't know what it was going to be like. So I've never really used monster clutch much before. Um, and it feels broken almost, it's so light, it's ridiculous. Oh, really? oh, that's like, good then. Um, Would that be okay for normal driving though? Yeah, I mean it's like, it, it's literally like like a Fiesta or a Focus, it, it's so light, it's ridiculous. Pop and bam. So, no. But that's got a monster twin plate in as well now. Well, should we talk about this? Because yeah. this was your LT4 powered E92, which you can see on the YouTubes. So that engine was in that. And the so, customer bought it, the car, and got you to fit he, in yeah he bought it he bought it with an ls effectively with an ls3 then went it'd be a real shame to go backwards to an ls3 that's a good customer yeah i mean he just said it was the things that took him out in it as it was and he was just like oh that's good yeah. so we're in about two conversations we'll fit the supercharger again it's a big old supercharger that. it is yeah it's um as you can see it's a magnetism they're the best um i don't know anything about superchargers they're, they're pretty good so it's an Ale it's a base an ls3 with um forge pistons forge rods standard crank balanced um uh blind tooly stage two cam magnetism supercharger he bought quite a big pulley for it so I'm not quite sure what, but I think it's going to be a bit much boost, but we, need, we, we can work on that. So I've basically built this back up over the last two months, three months. Yeah. You've been waiting for bits and stuff, haven't you? Yeah, we had to get, we had to wait for the pistons and then get the boat, I had to build the motor, um, put the uh, supercharger on, fuel wet. There's, there's been quite a lot of bits that we've had to come across and make work. Just got to go for a map now then? Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure, because the customer lives in Germany, so he's, oh, okay. I think, uh, provided he can still get a, a flight or, yeah. I, I don't know what's happening at the moment. This is where he, we're going to run it in, ideally, before we go and map yeah. it. But we've just ran, I built an engine over Christmas for Ian Phillips, with one of the drifters. Yeah. Which is basically an LS3 with that supercharger, and I think the only difference is the cam. Has he got a bigger cam then? I think this might be bigger, I think. This was slightly bigger, but that's just done 680 horse oh. and 600 and some foot power torque. Pretty good then. Yeah, at 11 psi, so next note, you know, not big boost. So I think this is set up for probably 14, so this should be pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah definitely. And whereas mine, mate, mine makes the LT4 makes more initial grunt than these, these make more top end oh, okay. in theory, so this should be very, very What's the guy going to use this for? I don't know, just a car. I think you know it's um I think he wants to do maybe some speed runs or just I think it the thing is it works very very well as a car you yeah. know I used to daily drive it for 18 months yeah, yeah. you know you can take your family in it you can do whatever you want in it that's that's the beauty with the BM they are massively capable at, at everything yeah so exciting yeah time to go so next one hopefully we'll be moving we'll be driving driving yeah. it rolling around yeah and yeah. ready to go any questions about any of the cars, I guess, in yeah. this little yeah. minisode? I say minisode, it's probably been the same length as the well, rest. Yeah. We, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a lot happened really from... Yeah, but it's, it's big but, changes. And it takes, you know, but, but for it you, stuff takes a long but time. But for you in the spill, actually seeing it with wheels on, the bumper on, yeah. the slamp on, it's yeah. almost completing, it's, yeah. it's almost done. And well, it's actually, the actually end. you know, putting the, the wheel arch liners back in and, and actually putting stuff back on for hopefully the last time. It's good. You know, and I've been doing it mainly after work and Saturdays yeah. and, you know, trying to earn a living as well, so... Yeah, yeah. Good. Are you ready to do uh, a noise yet for the Super Georgia? No. Oh. That makes a noise. <laughs> Does that, it make the same noise? Oh, ah! that, that, that ah! whines like you wouldn't believe. Can, can we hear it whine? Um, shall I see if it'll start? <laughs> Um, it's got a, the power steering dribbled a bit of oil onto the belt and yeah. it's made it a bit sticky. So That's a good noise. I'm not too far off. That will sound 
amazing once it's on full load. No, you need to go now. Go on, off you go.